Or you can click this tab here to go to the navigator. You can see all your elements here, like your HTML element with the title, your head, your meta, and then it will highlight and go to that area by clicking it here. You can see it changing and highlighting here. Go back into edit mode. So this area here in the center is your what you see is what you get area. Then down here is your actual HTML code, unless you click code which makes it disappear. Click it again back on. Here next to the tabs for the sidebar, you have a lot of features here. Here you have containers. This allows you to quickly and easily, without having to type in the code, add a lot of HTML attributes and tables, things like that. Like your divs here, you can enter a quick div. There we go. There you can see it entered here. You can also here insert a quick table, table sale, less, or like I say, the feature that really makes it stand out from all the rest, HTML5. There you can quickly add a section, article, A side, which is basically a sidebar, header, your footer, your, a nav column. And you just click it there quickly and easily. Next, you have forms to quickly and easily insert form elements such as text area, button, radio button or insert a quick form. Next you have media to quickly and easily add things like Java applet, a flash element, a YouTube movie embed code, embed audio, embed quick time movie or the thing I think a lot of people really go like about this program is video HTML5 element. Let me just click this. Click here. There. There you can see it down here, and you actually see it preview there. This is the element I was talking about. Video, source, and in between these quotes you type in the file name or location of the file name, such as say test.org. It's as simple as that. Where'd it go? Uh, here it is. There's also other elements you can actually type in here, such as poster equals, then you type inside that the file name of like a JPG file to have as a poster when it's not playing. There's all sorts of other little attributes you can add to video tags which I don't see an option for poster in the video tag rank by clicking a menu so you'd have to manually type it but I'm sure this is options that will be added eventually as there's a lot of HTML5 elements in it considering pretty much no other program has these sort of capabilities that I've found. Next you have text, they easily add bold, uh, teletype text, strong, italic h1 tag, h2 tag. Next you have miscellaneous such as link to external JavaScript file, PHP, Ruby, comment or insert a horizontal rule. Next you have the area which you can get to your packages just like on the site manager. So if I click here, it brings up the site manager and your packages. So you can add, like, say, your curved corners if you didn't do it previously. So if you don't do that straight away on your site manager when you first build a site, you can do it any time. Next to the far right here, we have move mode, which is basically what we are in by default, where you can select, like, your video or other elements like this here is a quick div we made earlier I can drag it around anywhere or this option here is edit text you click that and that will allow you then to enter your text as I don't believe 
if I remember rightly. No, you can't enter any text when you're in move mode. So you need to remember to change the uh, element mode here depending upon what you're doing. Because if you're in move mode and you try to enter text, it's not going to go. Down the very bottom here, you can select it, insert your symbols for like padding and margins, which are not on by default. Your grid, I don't know if you can see that very clearly, but the grid is turning on or off on the screen. Your grid here will not affect your final web page, so if you previewed it, this in a web browser with grid on, you're not going to see the grid, it's just to help you make your web page. Up here you have your traditional Mac menu bar. File to view about, and as you can see, your version number here, you can check for updates, as you see you're up to date. Preferences, there are lots of preferences so I won't go over them all. Here's your general preferences, things like do you want to show the startup window uh, by default when you open the program or not. Browsers, what browsers you want to use to preview in. As you see there's none by default, you can drag a browser here or hit find. As you can see, just by hitting find, it's automatically populated the list by itself. That's very handy that it will actually find them by itself. Here under colour, you can select your colour schemes such as graphite, aqua, bright, simple. Probably aqua, you uh, probably keep it on. Editor, change your font, your editor background colour or text colour. Default external text editor. Site manager theme such as graphite or pro. Show thumbnails in the site manager or not. Your options for Ruby, location of your Ruby on Rails, etc. Options for PHP, P preview PHP files in environment or not. Location of the, where PHP is installed to. Information to add and remove for your guidelines. And bookmarks. Next we have the file menu, very similar to what most applications have, you've got your new, you also can get to your new from template here, open a previously made uh, website or open it easily from the recent menu, import a web archive, save as, you can publish, get started, brings up your welcome screen again if you want to get back to that. Project settings, you can just enter a project name and author and any notes you want to take there. Yeah, edit, pretty much standard what you'd expect from edit menu. Page, select which uh, web browser you wish to preview your page in, or edit an external editor. Insert object such as a quick div, quick table, or quick image. Use zoom options. Arrange to bring things like images to the front or to the back, font to underline, italic and bold your font, view, you can get to your show margins and padding which is the same as down here, show grid, show rulers, customize toolbar, next it's pretty much a standard window menu where you can get to your things like inspector or media browser and it also tells you a shortcut so you don't have to go through the menu. And you have your help menu where you can get to their website, their user forum, bring up the help or send some feedback. There's, there's so many features as you would expect from a web designer, so I can't really demonstrate or go through them all. But this has basically been a review to show you the main features and I think it's a great program and I think you should at least download a trial to try out especially if you want to experiment in making HTML5 pages as it is a nightmare trying to find any editor that will do that. So the program costs £40. Not a bad price considering so many of these similar programs cost an absolute fortune. So thanks for watching, please rate, comment and subscribe.